Hey guys, taking a quick look at a, an exercise that you can try if you're working on things like a, your alignment and your different uh, karate stances. This is something you could do with uh, yoga or some other physical activities as well. It's something that I uh, tend to take a, a big piece of wall like this that's nice and empty. Um, works really well for this. So, something that I fall victim to, and I know a lot of other karate students do, is uh, sort of breaking their center. So if we are um, you know, moving through different stances or different postures here, the, the hips sort of want to move in all different places rather than keep that nice nice steady position here. So something that I will do is I will get in like a hami dach, zenkutsu hanmi here, maybe take a geramurai, right? Now I'm not leaning on the wall, I'm still very much using my legs as part of to, to support me. I an active, strong stance here. But if something is out of alignment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift to the other side here if I am in the habit of breaking my center as I do that, okay, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bounce myself away from the wall, all right? So I wanna try and get to where I can smoothly transition and keep the hips neutral or keep the hips where they need to be for this. You know, I could maybe do this with a kukutsu dach as well here. One of the other things I'm looking at is am I really pulling back enough or is my kokutsu dach here where my, my back hip is really far away from the wall. I want to try and get to where that back hip and front hip you know, are pretty close to, to touching the wall here. So if I'm moving in kokutsu dach here, right, again, if my one shoulder's out, it might push me away, but really this is more looking at what your hips are doing. So if I move to the other side and I go boom here, that means that when I transition, I stuck my bum out here. So, the idea is simply to get to where you can practice some of these transitions without breaking in any way. You can get really creative with this. You know, I just sort of demonstrated with a few of our fundamental techniques, but you know, you can try other things. So, in this case here, when I bring that ageyuke up, I want to make sure that my arm is sort of right in line with that wall. If I'm in the habit of coming um, out first, then I'm probably going to crack my elbow into the wall. I'm going to be here. If I turn here. I can even switch this way so that I'm looking at how much am I twisting in that initial arm raise. So as I come one, this part of my arm is close to the wall. If it's out, it's going to push me away or I'm going to feel like I'm being pushed away from the wall as I come here. Up. Up. This also helps ensure that you're keeping everything sort of pulled in tight. If you're in the habit of you know, making your is way up, or sorry, way to the outside, or making these big wide arm transitions between your techniques. This is just a way to sort of give you some uh, uh, some training wheels, or like the bumpers on a bowling a bowling alley here, so that you have some sort of feedback when you are uh, making these transitions. Whether we're talking about moving your kata just in keyhole or in general, because just having good structure and posture is is important, not just for karate but other activities as well. I like to take some of my yoga postures and work against the wall just to see, am I stacking my hips properly? So any sort of guide you can use is gonna be helpful. So give that a try. Hopefully it's something you find useful in your personal training. Thanks.